Tyler Bozak, the man that missed an open net in my last game, added to his total by missing not just one open net, but two in a row. On the following play, Michael Neuverth made a nice pass to Justin Jeffrey in the slot, giving him his first career ultimate team assist. After realizing that my goalie was now playing for the other team, I was forced to start dominating, but unfortunately I couldn't score a damn goal. Pierre-Marc Bouchard was then pickpocketed by Jerome Ginla, so I decided to dive at Ginla, knowing that he is 100 years old and has no reflexes. With seconds remaining, my fourth line center thought he was Sidney Crosby and shot the puck from the top of the circle, scoring on his only shift of the game. Cue Nazem Kadri. Kadri did his best impression of Ovechkin by not playing any defense and then calling for a pass. Here, Bozak decided he would actually be useful for once and not miss an open net. He celebrated with amazing sportsmanship. Paul Stastny was about to drill the opposing goalie, but unfortunately the puck got there first and he was forced to settle for a goal. He then celebrated like a two-year-old. During the third period, I was able to discover that I was playing against a pylon, as I was able to dangle around the opposing team on every single play. After this remarkable discovery, I realized that I didn't have to use the pass button for the rest of the game. This period was then looked over by historians and is now called the Great Dangle Fest of 2013. I then looked at the clock. Division 8, here I come. 